and we're back and let's see about the house everything's looking pretty good here chests there it looks like it's daylight so i'm gonna have to go on a rampage cow looks like you're the first victim Ooh, and whoa i didn't expect a one hit kill hunger is back well daylight doesn't last for long Sorry, chicken, but I, I need the meat. All right, we're going to run back to the house. Um, last episode, and I'm really just going to shoot myself in the foot even saying this. But I'm going to say it anyways. Last episode, I actually... I think I think mine test crashed. I think it's actually what happened. Whatever the case was, I accidentally displayed my cords, and then I I cleared them. So nobody would know where I was. But then I, like the dummy I sometimes am, was like, oh, whoa, I totally forgot to turn the cords off. Anybody could have just seen them. Which, of course, then made everybody realize that, oh, well, if you just shown them, because, again, they probably hadn't noticed, all they had to do was watch the video two seconds earlier and take a snapshot and they'd get my cords. So somebody did, and I wish I could remember who it was. But I think we're going to find out in a second here, because he left me some stuff in this chest. A spruce sapling and a book with text. Kind of want to know what it says. Buy do cake. Might be more interesting if you tried to get to the cave realms or getting some armor. Having a goal helps, since there's very little by the way of farming to do. There is an adventurer starter buried somewhere in here. Let's see some adventure. That was not the same name he had on the YouTube comment, but that totally makes sense. I get why people wouldn't use the same usernames. Like, for example, my YouTube username is not NathanS21. I honestly don't even know what my username is, because I know it's not Nathan. But that's all right. Alrighty, well. Wait, I thought armor stands were turned off. Hmm. Or double weight. Let me just see. Oh, you know what? I think that's actually in uh, in something else. Um. Okay, let me just let me just leave that alone. I don't think. I don't think I have any of that, anyways. Okay, anyways, um, I was kind of thinking maybe something was going on because a short while ago, and by that I mean one day prior to recording this, me and a few other of the peoples from the Pixel Shadow uh, servers kind of had a little, I might call it a conference, I guess, I don't know. But we kind of got together on IRC, and we're just discussing some things. Mainly uh, in regards to the new LEGO server that was just started up. And just how there, were, there was just so much going on and we couldn't keep everybody under control. And a lot of inappropriate stuff going on. People asking people's ages and where they live and stuff. And yeah, we really weren't... We weren't uh, I guess we just didn't expect it to be so big so fast. So we weren't prepared, and it kind of bit us in the butt. But so we kind of discussed things, and a couple people got some admin privs. Uh, and, oh no. Oh no, stay away. And I kind of thought for a minute, maybe, when I was seeing the inventory there, that that was some of my admin stuff showing, but I don't think it was, because it, I would have had the, uh, I think, the give button then. And I didn't see that, so I'm going to assume that none of that was showing. Uh, with that, I think villages are still broken. So I guess we'll find out in like one second, because right here a village is. Or a house, anyways. Sorry, cow. Oh, yeah, yeah, just attack me. Yep, because I really deserve to be attacked, you stupid cow. All right, let's take a quick little peek at this house here. 
You got a little bucket? I didn't know. Is that supposed to be like a stove pipe? Or... Poor Phil. I really wish I knew what that did, but I have no idea. I mean, I know it's something for like making wine or something or another, but. But. I don't know how. Okay, well, I've got two options. Either find a natural existing cave, which is always the easiest way to get raw resources. Or I can make my own. And now, one of the things I can do, which I'd actually kind of stupidly not thought of. I can use the map to... Oh, hey, right here a cave might be. I can use the map to find a cave for me. If I just turn it to this, it'll show me air. The brighter colored nodes are air. I like the bright green there is air. And the dark is solid. So this is actually not a cave at all. Very misleading. It looked like it was going to be a cave. But obviously, as you see, it was not. However, I think over here there is one. So, I'm going to hope that's the case. 18 torches should be enough to get me started. Whoa, that's a deep hole. But I think that's just what we need. I just need a safe means of getting in. Oh, a vine? That works. Alrighty. Um, I kind of don't want to just fall super far in because I'll get hurt. Oh, well, that works. Makes me a little stairway. Cool beans. Okay, now. Biggest problem with running around in caves is the fact there are mean things that want to eat you. And, of course, I am completely not prepared to fight those mean things. So, as was suggested by, um, I, I don't even remember what his name was. I'm a horrible person. But as was suggested by the person in that note, I should make myself some armor. Can I make leather armor? I don't even know. I don't think so. I think it's wooden. I do have wood, though, so you know what? Why not? Let's see what this gives me. Four and a half. Now, is this a group? It is group wood. Nice. All right. Boom. I think that's going to give me a full suit. Yep. Let's make a sh wooden chest plate, a wooden helmet, and wooden pants. Super uncomfortable. Like... You, you can't even begin to imagine how uncomfortable this wooden stuff is. But it does the job. And that's what we need. Wooden shield. No such thing. Okay. We have a level 22.5 armor. Which, for some reason, that can't be right. That's got to be a bug. According to my little HUD bar there, it's showing that I have full armor. But 22.5, no way, is as high as you can get for armor. Or if it is, there's something seriously messed up. Because wood armor should not be <laughs> the strongest material available. This gravel, I'm assuming? Whatever it is, it took a long time to dig through. But I am using a pickaxe, not a shovel. Ooh, water. Water was in here at some point. Oh, there's a bunch of water right now. Cool. I may just take a look. Let's see where this goes. Now, this is probably tin I'm harvesting. And as I know from experience on other servers and just playing single player, tin is pretty much useless. Ooh, but I think you can make tin armor. Hmm. Maybe not quite so useless. Tin armor, I would imagine, is better than wood. I mean, I feel like it would be. Ooh. Up we go. Go. What is this? 
I feel like I have stumbled into somebody's lair. On the upside, though, um, they they don't seem to be here, so I think I'll be okay stealing some resources. I don't know. I don't know whose this is. But like I said, I'm assuming somebody put all these torches in because map gen doesn't usually go around placing torches. Which means somebody wanted oh no. I just seen something in the water. Crocodile. But I don't think he sees me. And I think I just seen a giant squid. Or octopus thing. Oh man. I am so unprepared for this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, is this back where I just was? I don't remember. I feel like it could be. No, it can't be because I didn't have. Did I? No, I, I had a totally different, totally different area that I came in through. Okay, well, then that means... Oh, wow, I could have just triggered all that gravel. Let's see if there's not some place... There we go. Okay. Let's, I uh, guess, build another stone pickaxe. And harvest up some more of this tin. Probably just wasted all that wood making armor. Because I can get tin armor. But you know what? It was acacia wood. It's cheap. And I, it's the same amount of work as any other wood. I don't know. It was extras. I didn't need it. I mean, I, I will need wood at some point to build a base. But this time is not that point yet, so something's wrong with my map. I'm seeing like these really hard square lines that I'm assuming are map chunk edges, but I shouldn't be seeing lines like those. Big drop off. Like legitimately. Big drop off. Um, man, I don't know how I would get down there. I guess I can try to cut a stairway in. Yeah, or not. Uh, let's try a stairway here. kind of want to get down there. So it looks like that might be the entrance to a tunnel. And by tunnel, I, I mean cave. Because I need me a cave. Now, I know for a fact that somebody has discovered cave realms on the server already, and that there is a teleporter that will take you to one of said cave realms. And I know this because several of my siblings play on the server, and they have told me so. And uh, they know I'm a famous YouTuber and all, so they wouldn't be, they wouldn't be pulling my leg or anything. Of course, they did slaughter me in that other video, so I don't know. But no, uh, seriously, there is there is a cave realm that somebody found, I believe. I think it was zero. Forgive me if I'm wrong, whoever actually found it. If it wasn't zero, this thing just keeps going. And I don't have any more torches. But I do have some more sticks. And I got more wood. See, I shouldn't have used all that wood building those pieces of armor. I needed them for torches. Oh well. Um, I'm thinking here, easiest way to do this is just cut this corner out. I don't think there's any value to cords. Of course, I've said that about so many different nodes. And then been proven wrong. 
and looked like an idiot to the entire of the world. But you know what? That's life when you're a YouTuber. You know, you kind of just get over it at a point. Still super dark. Still looks like it's pretty much a sheer drop. Wow, this just keeps going. But, that can only mean one thing. Well, it actually could mean several things. But, hopefully, that means it'll be a more substantial sized cave. And we'll get to find a lot of good stuff. And by we, I obviously mean I will. Because... This is top secret location, classified information. Nobody but I know where this is. And quite honestly, I don't even know where this is. Like, if you told me, if you handed me a map and said, yeah, point out what location you're at. No idea, sorry. I would just, I'd have to make something up. Okay, we are at the bottom of a mossy area. I got some copper, it looks like, there. Coal. That's good. Iron. Really? That's all that's here? It's kind of disappointing. Oh well, I might find more. One of these could be a large vein. Or not. I can't tell if that's coal or not. I don't think it is. Oh, I used up all my sticks. No! Well, that was stupid of me. Um. Great. So I have no sticks. I have no way of mining any of this stuff. Boo! Off to this direction. There is definitely two large spots. And I kind of want to get to those spots, but I can't mine. So what we're going to do is make a waypoint. I forget how do we do this. We have to... No, we don't want to do that. Change color. No. Oh, here we go. Set so waypoint to current location. And then we're going to name this... Odd Cave. Woohoo! And it'll be a quick little tutorial for anybody playing on the server. If you didn't know about the waypoints, you just click on the map in your inventory, and you get five waypoints. And you just click on the number, the little green flag to set it to your current location. Uh, you can make it visible or invisible in world. So what that means, right now we don't see anything on the map. But if I click on waypoint one and turn it visible, we now have a little thing saying odd cave, and it gives you the distance. And it pretty much just shows in that direction. So it's super useful. You can change the colors of them. I guess you can have it show the scores as well. Which, cool. Uh, you can change the color, which it looks like you just cycle through. And you can change the name. So you can give different places different names and such. I am going to teleport home and uh, ooh, another cow and a bunny. Perfect. Sorry, cow, but you know, sometimes I just got to eat food and cow happens to exist. Wow, that was like super close to my house anyways. I felt like it was farther away than that. Oh well, it's alright. There's no rule that says I have to go far away from my my humble dwelling. Which is such a humble dwelling. I should be like a monk. It's so humble. Totally joking. I would never want to be a monk. I don't think monks are allowed to have computers. And by extension, I don't think they're allowed to play video games. Because obviously if they don't have computers... How would they be playing video games? Wow. This is like legit right here. I just swim through all this water. Um, okay. And then maybe go over here. And I should have 
Should have thought ahead a little bit. Um, turn some of that wood into sticks. So I'd have a pickaxe. So I would be able to, uh, well, you know, harvest some resources, some resources, as my friends across the pond say. Do they actually? I don't think they do. That was from, that was from something else. Resource, what was that from? Now I'm gonna, it's gonna be bugging me until I can remember what that's from. I don't imagine anybody else is going to know what it's from either. Oh boy, I am... Oh, never mind. I found a little air pocket. Okay. To the mine. Or to the odd cave, rather. It's down this way. Is this, uh... This is all water. Um... How... Oh no. <sighs> you stupid... I'm assuming it was an alligator. Man. Ah, just wooden stuff? I don't want that. Now, I was told... Secret... Aha, there is a cave realm. Okay. I need to go back to my bones. But before I do that... There's these mailboxes. I need to find mine. Because some of my sibling... Whoa! Some of my siblings have been bugging me about these mailboxes. And this is a telephone call, so I'll be right back. My siblings were telling me that there's these K or these uh, mailboxes. And again, they play quite a bit more than I do. So I feel like they would know quite a bit more about these than I do. And they claim there's one that's mine. And I just, I don't know. I don't know where. Joe's. Good old Joe. Ooh, hey. Nathan has tournaments mailbox. Okay. Now, I don't know. Oh, I don't have the torch on me now, though. <clears throat> Man. Oh, but I do have these super cheap lanterns that don't light anything up. Well, I guess I won't mind losing that. Like, if I place them down here. Oh, it's protected. Of course it is. Okay, guys. So, I guess I don't quite understand. Oh, wait. This, like, goes underground. Wait, what is this? What? I have an empty wooden chest. I'm so confused right now. I'm also... I don't know where I am. <laughs> okay, I don't... I don't get it. Like, I... Oh. And I... Okay, so... So what does this mailbox do? I don't... I don't understand how this works. I have a mailbox. Okay, I get that. And only I can get to it because it's a player detector that turns the node open and closed. And it's hidden underground, but how do... How do people give stuff to people? I don't... I do not understand. Like... How do I put something in the mailbox? Obviously, I can put anything I want in it because I, I can touch it and everything, but if somebody else wanted to send me mail, how would they do that? I don't know. Oh, wow. We're gonna go home. And I think because I lost all of my stuff trying to find that cave, that I shall spend the night in my cheery, cheery little cave. And actually, while I'm spending the night in my cheery little cave, it's in one of these bags. I'll find it. No, never mind. I don't have any. I was gonna say I'll do some mining, but I don't have a pickaxe. Everything but ooh, and it's daylight. Super. Okay. To find these bones. Ooh. 
and call it a day. I don't even remember where I was when I was... Oh, I was right there. Okay. Well, that makes that pretty easy. Yippee! Got my stuffs, you stupid crocodile thing. Can't keep a good player from playing. Okay, now I think the easier way of getting back to that cave, honestly. In all honesty, the easiest way is just teleporting back. And I believe I can do that, because it's not a protected area. So let me just... I don't even know where that is in relation to me. It's that direction. Okay. I just stumbled upon a new cave, so I thought I would... Oh. <laughs> well, let's put the armor on. It doesn't do any good if we're not wearing it. And it still killed me? That quick? That just doesn't seem right. Oh, well. Whatever. I'm thinking... Thinking, I need to travel this direction. I mean, obviously, I'm getting closer to it. So the question really just is... Oh, wait, it's right over this wall, isn't it? Yeah, 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 it is. And then we just go down on this long, circular stairway. So carefully handcrafted by none other than yours truly. Okay, and all of that for one lump of iron. Ooh, and a lump of tin. Let's not forget about the tin. And it looks like some coal. All right, now I'm thinking I want to make a tunnel into this -ish direction. That's quite far away from me, though. I'm going to be here for a while. Hmm. I don't really notice any natural any natural pathways near here. Well, actually, there might be. Ooh, what is this? Copper? Very nice. Why, well, thank you. I shall take some of that. And... I'm just going to keep mining. I want to know what's in those two bright green spots. Oh, and there's gravel. Well, let's see what my options are. Can I mine around it? Maybe. Whoa, what is this? Oh, never mind. Okay, I don't think I can get around this gravel. And I'm to a point now where I... Ooh. I'm to a point now I can't dig under it because digging under it would just keep dropping on me. I'd have to keep going deeper and deeper. Okay, I'm going in the all wrong direction here. Do I have... No, I don't. Okay. Not a biggie. I'm just going to make myself a steel pickaxe real quick, but I'll hold off on that for a minute or two. I'm hoping these bright green spots are suitable locations for something, I don't know what. For mining and finding all sorts of goodies. And then... Ah, but now see... I've done... I've done cave realms. Like, I've played in cave realms. Uh, both in single player. When I did a, a mod review, because I, I do mod reviews too. In case you weren't aware of that. There is a natural pathway here. And then uh, in the Pixel Shadow Survival server, I have played in the cave realms. Now the... Ah, I guess it's kind of cheaty. The thing about the survival server is that you have fly and you have fast. So you can literally just fly and harvest all the materials right out of the walls of the cave realms. That obviously is not going to be an option in an extreme survival server. 
Somebody's been here. Because uh, I don't have five. Oh, well, I uh, half expected that sand to come crashing to the ground. Okay, someone's definitely been here. And this is definitely one of those green little spots I was seeing. So now the question is, if somebody was here, is there anything left of any value? And why are these torches not standing up straight? It just looks stupid like that, you dumb torch. It looks stupid. Oh well. I'm hoping this isn't like Puka's area. He's going to come out super mad and attack me and probably kill me because I have wooden armor and a stone sword. I should probably actually make corrective measures and upgrade that sword ASAP. Because in the event I get attacked by something, yeah, my defense is pretty much a stone sword. Which, let's just say, isn't really quality. I was kind of thinking of actually building a little base down here. Seems to be a nice location. It just, it's so dark, I can't tell. Can't tell anything leads to. And that's always a worry, because... Monsters can just creep right up on you then. And I don't really want to be crept up on by a monster. Because then you pretty much just die. Okay, well, it's looking pretty safe so far. So I'm just going to harvest up a bunch of this iron. And it's probably getting pretty long, so I should probably call it quits sometime soon. Like, as soon as I... I got a ton of cobble, so I can build up a wall with cobble. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Another piece of iron right here. Yay. Alright. That is what I call a good harvesting trip. Let's grab this tin. Okay, I think... What I'm gonna do... There are several torches in here. Oh, wait. This goes to a whole other open area. Such a copper. Nice. Okay, well. Because I'm not too worried about the looks of things right at the moment. Considering as how this is not intended to be a permanent abode by any means. I'm just going to block this up with some dirt. I'll throw some dirt there, and some dirt there, and some dirt there. Throw a piece of dirt there, and a piece of dirt there. And you know what? I'm actually going to pop my furnace right there. Wait, I didn't have three furnaces, did I? I don't think I did. I think I'm encountering some lag right now. Ooh, I am definitely encountering lag because I haven't used any of my dirt. Hmm, that's odd. I only have three iron lumps, so I have a feeling none of the iron that I went and gathered I even actually got. So the question is, has the server crashed? I can check that real quick, actually. Hmm. It did. At 140, extreme quits. And then it joined at 41. At 139.51 it quits. 141.13 it joined. So... I've been playing for a while, and none of these changes have been actually happening. Yay! Well, in that case, we will call it a day here, and tomorrow we'll pick back up. Pick up the loose ends. I don't know why I said tomorrow. Next time, we'll pick back up, pick up the loose ends, build a little bit nicer of a house. That's probably where my torches weren't adjusting either. Oh, well, it's only a couple minutes. It's not a huge deal. That's it. See you guys later. Thanks for watching my video. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, would you consider giving it a thumbs up? I appreciate all those I can get. I'm on social media, peoples. Follow me. Google+, Twitter, 
Facebook. I always post all of my videos on those platforms, or links to my videos on those platforms, as soon as they go live. Which this means prior to the release on YouTube. You can watch them before anybody else. You can also visit my website, NathanSalpat.com, and see all my videos there. Really nice website, if I do say so myself. I did design it, so I might be a little bit biased, but I still think it's it's decent. If there is a mod you would like me to review, just click on the Request a View button right there. Takes a two-form on my website. You just type in the information, hit the Submit button. I get it. I look at it. Record a review. Post it online. You watch. We all profit. The world's a better place. Yeah, I don't know about that last bit. But, hey, do it anyways. There's You got nothing to lose. I'll catch you next time.